In today's video, we will deploy ChatGPT to help us speed up dashboard and automation creations. We'll ask OpenAI Invention to provide code for some of the tasks and see if it is applicable for delivering on the needs. Starting off with creating a Mushroom template card for the Home Assistant dashboard. In order to do so, we'll go into ChatGPT and we type in create a code for Home Assistant dashboard, create a Mushroom template card with the title King and use temperature to pull in data from the King temperature sensor and King humidity sensor for humidity. And here we go, ChatGPT starts to produce the code as well as provide a very detailed explanation as how to use it. Now let's try this code out in the Home Assistant. We go add card, we type in manual, and we simply copy paste the code here and click save. Now as you can see, it doesn't show the exact temperature because the sensor name is incorrect. So all we need to do is we need to replace the king temperature sensor with the right sensor in our Home Assistant and do the same for the humidity sensor. Click save. Now we go back to the ChatGPT and now we type in round the values for those sensors. ChatGPT thinks about it and starts producing the code which actually rounds the values. So we copy the code again, we move back into the Home Assistant and now let's add another card, another manual card. We copy paste the code, we replace the sensors with the correct ones and we click save. There you have it. Now it's rounded to the first decimal point. Much need to look. With this out of the way, we can go back to ChatGPT and now actually type in the sensor name so the ChatGPT can provide us the complete code with the correct sensors. So this way you have a choice of either writing the sensors up into the ChatGPT so it codes with those sensor names in mind or you can amend that after the ChatGPT generates the generic code for you. Now let's copy that code across into the Home Assistant. We'll add another manual card and copy the code across. And there you have it. Now, now ChatGPT was able to produce the entire card with all the correct sensors right there. Now we can ask it to replace the Mushroom template card it's been using with a Mushroom title card, if that's what we preferred for our dashboard. And the Home Assistant immediately generates a new code, replacing the card with the correct one. We copy the code across and voila, now you have a Mushroom template card. Next up, let's try to optimize our existing code from the dashboard we already have. We ask ChatGPT to replace the vertical stacking card with a grid card, with the rest of the code remaining largely the same. You can obviously make the different changes depending on your exact use case, but for the my case, this is a good example. So the ChatGPT starts to generate the code pretty actively, copying across most of the information as it was in the original code. We now copy the code across into the Home Assistant. We add a card, we click Manual, copy paste the code, and as you can see, it actually throws up the error. This is where you need to be careful. The only error here is re really that it, it got the name of the card row wrong. So the custom grid card should have just said grid. Now we click save and here you have it. The exact correct card, the same as we had before, just now in a grid instead of the vertical stacking card. With dashboards out of the way, let's create a code for an automation that checks the temperature of the sensor and sends a notification. Here's the code. We copy it across, paste it in the automation. I've done it already. As you can see, if you go into YAML, you can see exactly how it approached the automation. We will need to replace the sensor for the correct one we will need to specify the notification target for it. With this out of the way, let's work on the other automations. In this case, we'll create an automation that triggers when switch PS5 current power goes below 10. For those of you who have a smart sockets which measure energy, it can be a great find. So in the actions, we first make five seconds delay, then switch media player source to Apple TV, then wait another five seconds and turn off the media player and the launch socket itself. This way you can prepare TV for your family to use at any time after you finished. Now ChatGPT starts to generate the code and when you place it into the Home Assistant, here you have it. All you need to do is to assign a correct naming convention for your uh, sensors and media player and other devices. In my case, you can see I'm using LG65 and there you have it. It's ready to go. Now, after seeing a few examples, there are some things you need to bear in mind. First of all, of course, you need to know what sort of things you're trying to achieve, whether in the dashboard or in the automation, and you need to be able to put it in words. The practical reality of ChatGPT, it hallucinates from time to time. I mean, it makes simple mistakes in terms of the exact card names. It can replace grid card with something called custom grid card. It can make other errors. So you most likely will have to check the code. You also need to make sure you use the correct sensors. With these things out of the way, ChatGPT is still a great solution to optimize the amount of time you need to spend on generating the code for some of the more advanced dashboards and indeed in some of the more advanced automations which may take hours for you to generate on your own. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.